Hey guys, this is Chris from Record Talk with a contest entry. This is an entry for Ron Haggerty's Vinyl Sanctuary. Um, once upon a time, I think it was called Vinyl Pasta, but then it's called Vinyl Sanctuary now. So anyway, he's doing a contest. He gave us like 10 questions. He said we don't have to answer all of them, so I'm not going to. I'm going to do five of your questions, Ron. So, um... First one, something with an aquatic theme. And so we have the True Tones combo of St. Lucia. And so you have the Pitones, which are sort of the um, sort of signature mountains of St. Lucia, which is a Caribbean island nation. There's, of course, a sailboat there. Uh, the Carib Travel Agency apparently put out um, this particular record. It's on the West Indies record label. It's in... Uh, um, the back cover is in pretty rough shape. I guess the guy signed it. Um, so, there you go. Some music from St. Lucia. Uh, you might think that would be a good album to use for one of his other questions. Uh, album from a country that you visited that you like. So I actually spent an afternoon in St. Lucia, uh, but a place that I've spent um, a little bit more time in, although still not nearly enough, is the country of Greece, uh, and that's a place I would like to go back to. Um, and so this is uh, Lina Platinos, uh, the Greek electronic musician, with her 1984 album, Maskos Helios, or Sun Masks. And this is an album that um, I was recommended by uh, Stunt Rock Confusion. And I'm going to go ahead and, Ron, hopefully you'll forgive me, I'm going to go ahead and plug the fact that um, uh, Stunty um, was in the hospital. Um, he had an unfortunate incident where he was stabbed. Um, there is a GoFundMe. I'll stick up a link. It'll go one, one of those places arranged for by the Vinyl Community College. So um, get well, Stunty. And a good album that you recommended uh, for me um, that I just recently did a video on. And um, he wanted an album about food. So I picked Super Tramp, Breakfast in America. This was not recommended to me by Stunty. Um, so, but anyway, so you've got the, the classic middle-aged diner waitress. There's breakfast food. And so... Um, very food uh, related album cover wanted something about the weather so Vess Rutenberg you probably don't know who Vess Rutenberg is um, so this is a solo album he did recently I think only a couple hundred copies were printed um, he's part of the sort of the southern Indiana sort of indie rock scene so uh, with like people like Blake Baby's Mysteries of Life Margo and the Nuclear So-and-Sos, these sorts of bands. Um, we Control the Weather was the name of this album, but We Don't Control the Weather Man. Um, then he wanted an album that was sexy or sultry or racy or suggestive. And so here's some Donna Summer, I Remember Yesterday. And so... Um, there, Donna Summer. Uh, she sings I Feel Love. It's on the Casablanca label. Um, I very much associated that label with Kiss when I was a kid. Uh, but obviously Kiss was not the only band that was on that label. They were probably more known for disco um, outside of the Kiss army world. And then an album I don't think Ron owns well, I'm pretty sure of the five albums I owned, the St. Lucian album, the Greek album, and the Vess Rutenberg album. I would be stunned if Ron owns any of those. Um, maybe he owns the Dama Summer, although I'm going to guess probably not. The Super Tramp album, that's the one that I think he probably does own. Uh, maybe Ron will answer. Um, and a while um, I'm talking about suggestive albums... Uh, I would have shown it if I had it, but uh, I'm going to have a, a video about Betty Davis, a uh, nasty gal. Um, I kind of learned about it from Robert Fithin. Um, 
very uh, highly suggestive funk music. Uh, makes Donna Summer look like a choir girl. 